Hello everyone, I'm Father Joe Carey. I'm Bridget McDermott. My name is Mary Pickens. And this is Cup the Cup of, of Joe. Joe. <laughs> Well, what's new? Yeah, Father Joe, something I wanted to ask you about. Um, on campus, Corby Hall is being taken down. It's kind of a big um, talk of the Notre Dame campus right now. So I'd love to hear any stories you have about that place and any memories that you'd like to share. Well, one of the things is that for about a year we've been talking about it, that this is going to happen. But this week, the reality of what's happening, you know, they put up fences around it. Uh, the The building really belongs to the construction company now, so it's not our home anymore. Can you tell us what it was before the construction company took over for our viewers who oh, don't know about Corby? Oh, it was uh, a place where some of the pre Holy Cross priests lived, and the rest of us who live in residence halls would go there to eat mm -hmm. and pray and it was kind of like our community headquarters mm. but it's uh was necessary for this change it's a very old building that needed a lot of work and so it was built in 1895 Ooh, and wow. and now um, this is what's going on so it's it's kind of a place of many many memories mm. and you don't think about them until you see something being mm. torn down mm. and I can remember uh, this one priest who uh, gave a, uh, a homily on Ash Wednesday one year and he had cancer and he gave us the most incredible uh, homily um, he was in a wheelchair and he uh, told us how much love he felt from the community how much he was grateful to God for what he had had. And I, it was always so touching to us who were there because it just shows us a lot about life, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, we're called to be grateful for what we have. And sometimes we focus too much on the negative or the problems that we have. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what I can see in this reflection is the importance of learning to take uh, what saddens us and admit it, but also then to re have great memories that help us to be grateful. How might our ACERs kind of learn from an experience like this? Good question, Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think that they can learn is, is that making a mistake or, or not doing well, like one Acer admitted to me that he did go into school one day with no lesson plan whatsoever. And I said, well, how did it go? Well, it was a complete failure, but it taught me a lesson. Mm -hmm. and, and he was grateful that he learned it that way without hurting anyone. Right. So we can all learn from our mistakes. And then even eventually be able to say we're grateful for them because they helped us grow. That's great advice, FJ. So here's to Corby Hall. What do here's you think? to Corby Hall. Yeah. And, <laughs> what a great and place. To, and to the Notre Dame community and the ACE community. Mm -hmm. And we want you to know we love you. We love you. you.